Now, there we go. It says I'm live. Good morning, everybody. Um, let's run down the rules real quick. Okay, so bottom line is Facebook family, everybody watching on Facebook, I answer your questions after my YouTube broadcast, even though you can watch the, the live broadcast too. So I will answer all Facebook questions later. YouTube, I answer on the show. So let your, uh, how can we send Jack Jr. a wedding gift? Uh, okay, we'll get to that in a minute, David, I promise. So um, the other thing is if, your, your questions are inappropriate or your comments are inappropriate, you get to go to the boys club. So what's the boys club? It's basically banning you from speaking. It's shutting your mouth. It's putting you in bad mode or whatever. But uh, but you can still watch. So anyway, let's get started. There's so much to talk about. Uh, first question is, how do we send Jack Jr. your wedding gift? You can go to uh, jackandbrianna.com and go to their Facebook page, and you can pick something in their registry, and then they'll be notified that something was picked for their wedding. I just follow the links that you see on that page. Uh, it's jackandbrianna.com. Um, that's the best way. Uh, I don't know if they have a, a GoFundMe. I don't think that they is. Have a PayPal account. Oh, they have a PayPal account. Is it on the Facebook page yet? It's on their Facebook page yet. Yeah. So they got a PayPal account if you want to, if it's money related or if it's present related, they've got Bed Bath & Beyond and Amazon, what what all young couples go to and they made a registry. They get a nice list, a uh, bunch of different things. Hi, how are you, Chef? First of all, thank you so much for uh, being so polite and for joining me this morning. Um, uh, Mama Bubbles, did, did Laura change her name to Mama? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. So yes, welcome, uh, welcome, Laura. Um, so I just want to let you know, I am not legally a chef at all. I did not have the training. So I appreciate the respect that you show when you call, say chef. Uh, that's very loving and that's very nice. But I never credit myself as a chef. I've always been just a home cook, just a regular guy. Hey, Bubblegum, what's going on? Halo Masters, what's going on? Um, everybody's just jumping in. Uh, nice seeing you guys. All right. So right at this moment, all night, I have two pulled porks cooking right now. And let's see if I can get their information real quick for you. Yeah. What? Yeah. There you go. It's 249. It's probably, is that backwards yeah. to you guys? I don't know if it is. Uh, the meat's at 188. Both pulled porks are 188. And we're cooking at 262 degrees. It fluctuates. Um, but basically, I need that, that 188 to go to 200. Uh, it's already wrapped in butcher paper. We've been cooking it all night. It's going to be beautiful. Um, but basically, uh, it's wrapped right now. When it hits 200, we'll put it in a cooler. It'll sit for an hour, and then it'll just melt like butter. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, um, just wanted to let you know that's going on right now. Okay, the reason you guys probably want to know, why did you title... Um, Oh, God bless Zimbabwe. Oh, I sold my wife and two kids to buy a PC to watch you live. Wow. Okay, that's probably not true. Good morning, Jack. How are you? And Tammy this morning. We're doing great. Uh, Tammy's going to help me. She was going to go upstairs. Every time I'm on the live broadcast, she goes upstairs and she pays bills and does business-related things. And I need her assistance. So I want to show you guys... Behind me, that's our front door, and behind me are boxes. A box, I think we got a box every single day this week, okay? At, at this household, it's we, we get stuff sent to us. We get stuff we've ordered. We, we literally get a delivery. I mean, that doorbell camera keeps showing me that somebody's delivering something at least once a day. We got two deliveries yesterday. So Tammy is going to – Tammy has a big box behind me. 27 pounds. We don't know what it is, but um, Tammy's going to open it up live on the show. Uh, Jack, do you love coleslaw on your pulled pork sandwiches? Yes. Uh, was good. I like uh, coleslaw. It's the only way to eat pulled pork sandwiches. The boxes are ticking. No, the boxes aren't ticking. So, Tammy, here she comes. Hey, what's up? What's up, girl? 
I absolutely love her. So we're already getting stuff in for the kids. You know, oh, we're getting wedding yeah. gifts for the yeah. kids already? We're already got, yeah, we've already gotten a couple. But the problem is, they what? say Jack's California, so we don't know which one. Yeah, so we don't know. This may be a wedding present of Miami because, CJ, good morning. Um, hope to see you at the movie theater, by the way. Uh, we don't know if it's a wedding present or not because Jack Jr. and I get have the same name. So they both say Jack Scalfani. Uh, that's the only time I like coleslaw. You should do a whipped coffee recipe. No, I'm not going to follow trends, food trends. Hold on a minute. Let's find out what this is. What is that? Country of origin, China. You got to open it more. We got a box. Hold it up, honey. Is everybody? Oh, you can't lift it? Hold on, let me tip it. There we go. That's the box that came in the box. Dun, 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 dun. This is all exciting. It's not seeds. Yeah, that's a big box of seeds. You guys cracked me up. You guys are the funniest. You know what? Sometimes the funniest jokes come off comments in, in the internet. People on the internet just make me laugh. All right, we're opening the box that came in the box. So just hang on. Oh, Mama Bubbles says hi. Hello. And uh, so we have no idea. It's, it's like Christmas every day here. That's why I titled today's episode. It's bat soup mix. <laughs> no, and you guys are reaching. No, it's it's not. What is it? A... Are you serious? Hold on a minute. Look, I don't know what that is. Look at that's what came. I Jack, I think. Is that? I think the kids ordered a dish set. I mean, got a dish set for the first. Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm trying to open up one and not. I have a feeling it's for the kids, not for me. Which, if it is, I'm going to be really crushed. But that's okay because. I'm sure another package is coming today. We'll open one of them. And then... Hold on a minute. Careful with the knife. So, all I can say, if this is for the kids, we got to go put it. It's the kids? Do you want to see it? No, don't. don't. Do you, you guys want to see, see this? You want to see what they got? Hi, Jack. Huge fan. Can you give my friend Ronnie a shout out? There you go. Hey, Ronnie, what's going on? Put that away. I actually like it. I mean, you can. The kids don't watch me, so they're not going to know. So we're going to put this box. We're going to have Jack Jr. carry the box upstairs. He won't know what's in it. And then we'll put a blanket over it until their wedding. Oh, you can tip it back? Yeah. You can get it. Right, but you're going to carry it, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we're going to have Jack Jr. carry it. So I guess wedding presents are arriving. So I guess if you order on the web, just on their registry, it just why not yeah. follow trends for food? I would give you more views. It would give you more views and such. It depends. For I mean, the coffee isn't interesting. It's like three ingredients whipped together. It's like, hey, everybody's buttering their bread. You should do a video on buttering bread. It, it doesn't excite me. That's the main reason, Ryan. I totally appreciate the recommendation, but uh, it uh, it has to excite me. Even the simplest of recipe that excites me. Whoop! I get a smudge right here on them. There we go. Um, so uh, it has to be something interesting. I don't know. That doesn't excite me. But anyway, are you taping it back up? Yeah. All right. So what's going on? Okay. So here's another package that came. I had to order these on the internet. There is a super coffee positive energy by a company called Kitu, K-I-T-U. And I've heard like a few people, it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine, 10 grams of protein, no sugar. And yet there's, there's no sugar. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, these are really good. They sell it at Publix. I don't know where else they sell it. But uh, we've been getting these in the mail because Publix ran out. They sold out. Uh, they have little expressos that will kick your butt. If you're not a coffee drinker, be careful. Uh, oh, yeah, the new video on new toaster oven. Yes, I got that video coming up. We're going to be filming that this week. Yeah, that just came in the mail. Like you're not carrying anything. No, I'm going to Okay, cool. So that's good. Do you like kiwis? Yes. Beef? Uh, you do. Uh, Jack Jr. does. I don't that much. Kiwis don't excite me. Um, but my wife and my son love it. 
Um, let's see, like a workout coffee. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a super coffee. And I have a friend who drinks coffee every day. She's addicted to coffee. She loves it. And she tried the espresso of that brand. And it, it just sent her. She was like, unbelievable. I thought it'd be okay. Uh, the egg pod you showed is junk. Way too cumbersome to use. Well, let me give you a recommendation. Don't run water. Just let it cool naturally. And don't run water on the eggs, okay? You'll know what I mean when you watch the video. I don't recommend running the water. I did it exactly to the instructions, which you guys always yell at me for not reading instructions. I finally did it by the instructions, and now you yell at me for following the instructions. Uh, you did the wings in it. Yes, King Lord, uh, I did do the wings in it, but I want to do, I'm doing a fryer chicken next. We're going to roast a fryer chicken, right, honey? Yeah, we uh, already picked up the chickens, so I'm going to season them. I don't know how, maybe do some injecting on it. I don't know. Pop it in the counter oven and try it out. I also have right behind me, are you ready for this? 17 and a half quart air fryer. Unheard of. I don't think I've ever seen 17 and a half quarts. All right? But uh, hey, Bubba Gum, what's going on, man? Uh, I love eggs, too. Yeah. Um, the egg pod, you, you think it's a piece of junk? That's fine. You can think whatever you want. But I recommend it, the egg pod, because it lets you cook the eggs and peel the eggs inside the same egg pod. Literally, you open it up and just take, oh, well, I'm not going to ruin the video for you. you got to check it out. Jack, what is best egg cracker? Your hand. If you're trying to crack the egg, your hand along inside the sink, just tap it, start a crack, and then roll the egg gently along its shell, and it will crack the rest of it. I'm going shopping for birthday food, guys. Sorry I have to go. Love you guys. Eric, we love you too, man. Hang in there. So anyway, um... The uh, hey, I think I think I'm ready to have a few new people. Uh, I think I'm going to add my buddy Wim as a moderator if Wim wants to. Uh, Wim, will you moderate for me or not? You need let me know in the comments because I won't switch you on as a moderator because Laura has been doing it and CJ's been doing it, and they're the only two that do this chat this live broadcast. Uh, do you have a memorable food? Uh, I remember there was a restaurant, I don't remember the name of the restaurant, in California. It was called Chicken and Steak and Chocolate Cake was their saying. That's all they served. It was chicken or steak. Uh, but they would say chicken, their slogan was chicken and steak and chocolate cake. When I was a little kid, that was memorable. Um, I remember, uh, what else? I remember, uh, nothing, I remember, I, bad stuff like liver. Or, you know, the eggs of a fish. Um, that's caviar. That's just nasty. Anything nasty is memorable. You never forget it. Uh, hi, Chihuahua Puppy. How you doing? You, you have any food plans for Halloween, bro? Um, if I do any Halloween videos, what are we at? We're, in, we're still in August. Uh, I'll get it up early. If I have any Halloween videos coming up, um, that's what I want to talk about, too, the holidays. But first, uh, to, uh, to answer that question, do I have any food plans for Halloween? I don't yet, but I'd love to. The problem is I don't want to do desserts. I've always struggled. I've always done desserts for Halloween episodes. And it's not always about dessert. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. oh, great coffee. Yeah, so I want to do a meal, like once I did, like, I think it was a mummy meatloaf or something. I don't remember. But I try to stay away from desserts. Uh, Jack, do an eye-to-eye -eye about Halloween. Yeah, um, I think I will, but it'll be closer to Halloween. Um, no matter, you guys, we've had a crappy year. We all know that. We've laughed about it. We've commented about it. We've slashed at 2020. Unfortunately, my son, you know, has to the rest of his life say, Hey, remember 2020? That's the year I got married. And it's one of the worst years ever. That's the only good thing that's happened this year so far. I mean, a lot of good things happen. I just haven't analyzed it. Um, but the holidays are going to be coming. And I want you guys to know something. Nobody 
allows you to have Halloween. Nobody allows you to have Christmas. Nobody allows you to have Thanksgiving. You allow you to do those, to honor those holidays, celebrate those holidays, uh, family and friends, however you do it, you allow it. I always tell people, so Tammy and I are not getting each other presents. We're not doing, we don't want presents from anybody. We've announced to the whole family, don't buy us anything. We are very happy with what we got. We are very blessed. And Christmas isn't about presents. It is for the little ones. It's way, oh, oh yes. Uh, Wim said yes. Okay. Wim, I'm going to make you a moderator. Hold on one second. Um, so basically, I got to tell you, wait. I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm a guy. I can't do that. There we go. Uh, Wim, you don't have to be here every week. Wim, it, it's at your comfort level. If you're, if you're in the room, help me moderate. I always tell Laura and CJ that too. There's no have to. Um, but getting back to Christmas, okay, or any of the holidays, it's what you make it. Um, exactly. It's what's in your heart, just like Bubblegum said. Um, it's what you make the holiday. The Christmas season is what you're surrounded by. The music, the family, the fun, the spending time together. Um, it's not about opening presents. In fact, on Christmas Day, I kind of get sad because I know it's all over. I know the Christmas season's all over. It's some of the best time to be around other people. It's some of the best time to celebrate. Um, we do a bake night as family. We do. We go see the lights. We go on the boat. And, and I mean, we try to go on the boat on the lake and, and go by the lights and everything. So it's whatever you do. Some of you make eggnog, like uh, Bubba going to stop double rum and eggnogs. Some of you like that aspect, the uh, eggnog making and the, and the uh, arts and crafts of it all. So remember something. Um, you're going to, uh, your holiday season is up to you. Nobody, no news announcement, no mandate is going to stop you from celebrating Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween. Okay. So if they say we don't want people going door to door for Halloween. All right. When I was a little kid, we, when I was a little, ah, I'm so, my heart breaks for the little ones today because the little ones are living through this. So if you can't go door to door, you do something else. Come up with something else. Have your own Halloween party inside the house. Um, have a night full of scary movies. Uh, hey, Wim, um, hold on one second. Let me see. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that, okay, I was just reading uh, something, some, somebody wrote. Anyway, um, you're responsible for how the holidays turn out. If you need an idea, write me privately and I'll show you an idea. I'll give you ideas all day long. Um, ooh, Christmas chorizos. You know, there's something fun about, if you've never done this, this is something fun. We do a bake night every year on Halloween. We, um, we each pick a thing to bake. One will do a chocolate cake, one will do chocolate chip cookies, one will do cupcakes, one will do, not that we're going to eat it, but it's just the fun of baking. Uh, we usually take it like the Bible study or, you know, when Jack Jr. was little, we'd send it to his school. But um, but you you get to celebrate your holiday season. If you don't have a good holiday season, it's your fault. I'm just telling you, it's your fault. You can have a great Christmas with no gifts and just doing fun stuff, decorating the house, decorating the tree, putting the lights up, going around town, looking at lights on people's houses. You know, we spend Halloween Harvest Fest camping with the kids in North Michigan. Yes. Oh, and the weather. The weather starts getting cool and fun and all that stuff. You know how cool? I've always wanted to go to one of those corn mazes. We have them out here. You go to a corn maze. You know, you know stop worrying about everything else and go have fun. I watched uh, Unhinged yesterday. First day the movie theater opened up was yesterday. I named my cat after you, Jack. He loves your channel. Hi, Jack. Bring your cat to the, to the computer screen. Let me know when uh, your cat's looking at the screen. Anyway, um, but yeah, so um, 
plan some fun stuff. I'm not going to, I refuse. Like you said, live it, don't live in fear. Uh, the movie was good, Wim. Um, I refuse to live in fear. I refuse to let anything bring me down. Even me, sometimes I, I get a, a little depressed and I've got to turn that around. But you're in total control. Realize that. You can, I mean, you can have a blast. Uh, another reason that I don't want any presents for Christmas is because I get presents coming to the house every day. Uh, very exciting presents. Uh, coffee and air fryers and stuff like that. Uh, he's looking, oh, he, hey, hey, Jack, how are you? Just saying hi to Jack the cat. Okay. When you said his name, I thought, uh, that's so cool. So um, anyway, you guys all have traditions. If you can't do a tradition, like they canceled the Nashville Christmas parade already. They've already canceled it. And they said they're going to be doing it virtually. Really? What is a virtual parade? I'd rather watch reruns from last year. What is a virtual parade? So anyway, <laughs> Bobagum is funny. Children of the corn. Uh, yeah, so, um, so I don't know how you're going to do that. But if you can't do that, come up with something else. Refuse to let them destroy your holiday season, whatever they're, they're going through and they're doing. But anyway, um, it was a good movie last night, Unhinged. Uh, if you already have anxiety or you're stressed, don't go see that movie. Don't go watch that movie. If you're cool with it, you'll enjoy it. It's a fun ride. But it seemed like a short movie. Um, we're going today to see Words on a Bathroom Wall. Looked interesting. It's about a boy who has... Uh, schizophrenia and uh let's see everyone gets depressed yeah i think it's a kind of a wave you know you have some days where you're down but it's up to you not a pill not a drink not a drug of any sort it's up to you to turn your spirit around i mean if you gotta change the music that's on the radio you need to watch the cartoons on the tv you do whatever it takes to change your mood you're in total control I think most people don't realize that, that you can pull yourself out of a bad situation. Uh, an amazing, let's see, Uncut Gems is a movie that gave me anxiety. I didn't like Uncut Gems. Adam Sandler is like Will Ferrell. We, every other movie is good, and every other movie sucks. You ever notice there are actors like that, that they do a good movie, then they do a bad movie, then they do a good movie? I, I never know. But... Uh, it's funny when you get mad at little things like a virtual parade. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. A virtual parade? Is it going to be computer generated? Is it going to be a video game parade? I mean, what's a, what's a virtual parade? This is why I wanted to start marketing. You know, I wish they would just hire me at one of those virtual headset companies. We can make a killing right now. We'd be selling tickets to the basketball games. Nobody's there anyway. We'd be selling football tickets. Of course, there's probably not going to be any football, but we'll see. Um, but, I mean, this is the day. I've been saying it all year. Virtual headsets should be skyrocketing and marketing properly, and they're not, and it, that drives me nuts. That's even worse than not showing a parade. Okay, uh, Goliath Online, not sure what that means. Uh, this is a virtual chat. Uh, what do you mean virtual? It's a real chat. I don't know what virtual chat means. Virtual means like virtual reality. Uh, hold on. What's the definition of virtual? Virtual means almost or nearly as described, but not completely or according to strict definition. Okay. So virtual me means not exactly the real thing. Okay. Not as described. So we're going to have a virtual parade. So it's not really going to be a parade. Maybe a bunch of people walking down the street picking up trash. I don't know. I'm not sure what they mean. But anyway, did you like The Office? Uh, I've watched The Office. That gives me anxiety, too. That goes beyond stupid on The Office. And there are some episodes I just can't do it. It just, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I, I know what he's going to do, and it's going to embarrass me. Uh, we are not in the room. No, you're not. So, um... We are not in the room. So I guess that's, I, I don't know. I don't know what a virtual parade is going to look like. I mean, are they going to 
not have people on the street and do a parade? Oh, Seinfeld or Friends? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I own both of those, the whole series. I, I would say equal. Seinfeld, uh, Seinfeld and Friends, they're totally different humor. All right? But they're just as good. They're equally as good. I don't know if I could pick that. Hey, Jack, what makes you cringe? Nails on a chalkboard. My brother cringes at a knife-cutting styrofoam. He just loses his junk. I mean, he would just go through a plate glass window if that happened. Um, um, so anyway, uh, so if, if you're explaining virtually as broadcast via the Internet, then I don't know where they're going to do a parade secretly so nobody shows. I know if they – I know this place. I know Nashville enough. I've been here long enough. If they said, okay, everybody stay home, but we're going to have a parade. Yeah, right. Everybody's going to show up. Everybody's going to show up downtown, and there's going to be like thousands of people on the street. Area 51. That's funny. So they need to find a secret location of a parade and film it. I can't even believe this. This is just too funny. So anyway, um, that's just crazy. So what were some other things I want to talk to you about? I can't remember. Oh. Let me see if I can reach this. Hold on. It's another package I got. I want to share it with you guys. You guys will be the first to see it. I can get it open. Hold on. I'm fighting the paper. They got all this wrapping, stuffing paper in there. That's not what I wanted. I want the gun. No, nope, that's not it. Oh, hang on. Where is it? Ah. Okay, I can't believe this. Hey, sweetheart. You got a second? You can yell at me later. I just need your help. I can't get it out. I can't get the gun, the uh, grill gun out. It's not a real gun. It's a grill gun. Sorry. <laughs> it's taped close, so won't let me... I got everything out but the gun. Yeah. I got the paper out. I got this. Out. What is that? No. Anyway, I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Okay. That's Sorry, sweetheart. How about to hold it? To hold it still? Oh, you, oh, it's a clamp? Oh, it's that was the stand for it. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. So this is called a grill gun. There's the picture but it is a smaller version. I've done one of these before, and it wasn't bad. It was like a blowtorch. But this literally screws on to your, um, your little propane can, the little Coleman ones that you buy at Walmart, and it, it becomes a blowtorch gun, and it's called grill gun, and it's to light your fires. It's just like if you guys know what sous vide is, when your stick comes out sous vide and you want to, let's say, blow towards the meat on the outside and give it an outer crust. This does it. This is huge. It's kind of heavy. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? It's a grill gun. So I held a grill gun to my head. My wife does a grill gun. Uh, has hey. Kemi found a job yet? Have you found a job yet? No. No. Uh, what are your plans today, Jack? Okay. So today, what, what are our plans here? We're going to the movies. Words on a bathroom wall. Watch the trail. It looks really good. Um, we are... Oh, I know what we're doing. We're, uh, we're, we're also signing up for classes today. Oh, yeah. We got to do some online education. So I'm going to be signing up for classes today. And then we got to pay bills. And then we got to... Wishing Tammy good luck in her job search. I can tell you this that she does accounting across the United States for anybody who needs it. And she's being blessed, hopefully, with some new clients that are going to be coming soon. So that will be helping. Um, but, I mean, the way everybody works from home, you don't have to live in Tennessee to use Tammy as an accountant. So she can do it for Dallas, Texas, L.A., anywhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, Joe Biden ads are playing before my stream. 
Nice. Um, uh, let's see what classes. Oh, um, I'm going to become licensed for insurance, health insurance. So uh, we got to take health insurance classes. Nothing major. Uh, how was Jack Jr.? As annoying as ever. That means he's doing great. All right. So any more deer hunting cooking videos planned for the fall? You know, uh, my buddy Charles is going to be doing some. I know I'm going to introduce another channel soon that's growing, but I don't want to shout them out yet. I'm working with another channel that's going to be doing survival videos. Um, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be doing hunting right now. Got to, um, I'm probably, probably more like next year, maybe. Uh, that's probably the plan. Have you been looking for a job, Jack? No, 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 no. How about I try to help Tammy with her accounting stuff if she needs like data entry or setting up software or whatever I do. I can do all that. How about CPA for poker players? Taxes are weird. Yeah, I don't think Tammy wants to go into the CPA arena. Uh, you're, you know, here's the thing. You should never have your accountant be a CPA. You want to be double-checked. You want to be audited by a separate firm at the end. When all your numbers are done, you turn it over to the CPA and let them look it over. Uh, that kind of covers your butt. Survival videos. Can you expand on that? Survival videos. Okay. Survival videos are like, he teaches you how to start a fire without matches, you know, with sticks. Uh, if you're out camping and, you know, and I mean, if you were out in the woods and you need to build a structure, so show you how to do it with just a, a, hand, a hand hatchet, how to cut the, cut the wood and make like a little tent, stuff like that. Um, what foods to bring on camping trips? There, there's some great, food, uh, dehydrated foods that taste amazing once you rehydrate them and treat them properly. And he shows you, and she, it's a married couple, they show you how to bring dehydrated food back to regular strength. It's always good to have some in case, because I know like, um, you know, uh, you want to have some backup food a little bit. So I always have backups of backups. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Um, so what are some other stuff? Um, you know, how to have a, I, I mean, there, there's some other things you're going to be doing. I don't want to talk too much about the channel because I really like a channel to have a little bit of meat before I tell you guys about it. Enough to go over there and watch that you like. Um, you know, usually not dehydrated steak. That would just be like beef jerky. <laughs> uh, how's the right arm we're doing? It's doing good. Thank you. Uh, eating weeds. No, I don't think they're eating weeds. I bought a case of dehydrated. Uh, oh, I, I'm sure they would warn you against things you shouldn't eat if you're out in the wild. There's a lot of survival channels, uh, outdoors channels, inspirational. They're kind of a mixture. Uh, they'll be doing a few different topics. Uh, if you go to, they're like health, survival, wellness, inspiration. Um, if you go, you they're really cool. They got a cool dog in the video. Yes, she's awesome too. Or yeah, she's awesome. She's huge. I've I've met her, and uh, their dog is in like every video they do. If you go to, and I'm gonna you know, I'll take three things. What would you choose? Um, if you go to an island and you're allowed to take three things, what would you choose? I would choose probably. I would probably choose. Um, a gun for protection in case there's any wild animals that might want to try to attack you. I would choose probably a phone so I can call for help and tell them where I'm at. <laughs> and um, a GPS tracker <laughs> so they can find me. Uh, if Let's see. Uh, good morning, Jack. What's for breakfast? I'm not eating breakfast. Um, I don't think we're doing breakfast. Um, let's see. I was shocked at how flavorful and easy they are. <laughs> Dog, yeah, they have a dog. Uh, you talking Tammy too? Uh, about what? Zooted pears. What am I talking about regarding Tammy? Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. I, I would take an aircraft and a Goodyear blimp. That's funny. 
Yeah, I would I would take a plane, propeller plane, and probably crash in the ocean. But anyway, um, you know, see, not talking Tammy to. Oh no, I'm not taking Tammy to the island. Why would I be? It's a deserted island. Why would I take her? Put her through it too. Mm -mm. Unless I had to stay there, unless it was like a reality show or something, then I'd take her. Uh, just trying to make you laugh. <laughs> Check out Big Family Homestead and their freeze dried foods. There's a lot of different types of <clears throat> there's survival in case you fall into a bad situation. Then there's survival in case things go crazy in the country, kind of survival. So there's so many different survival channels out there. They got tons of viewers. Uh, let's see. What kind of coffee are you drinking? Um, I'm doing a McDonald's K-Cup with sugar-free creamer in it. My wife's so awesome. Did I happen to tell you that? Oh, yeah, I told you that. <clears throat> Hot chicks on sci-fi. Hmm. Don't know if that's a thing. Will there be any bikes for Christmas this year? Jumped on the only 24-inch on Walmart. Had the other day as I haven't seen any for bigger kids there in a while. So it's interesting that my son doesn't know how to ride a bike. I don't think I ever taught him. I think he grew up, didn't want. Let me tell you what happened. So I bought him a skateboard for Christmas, and I didn't just buy him the skateboard. I got him a nice skateboard, one of the ones, you know, when skateboarding was hip, one of the nicer brands, okay? I got him the helmet. I got him the elbow pads. I got him the knee pads. I got him the everything, the cool skater shoes, everything. The only thing that wasn't covered was his butt. So what's he do? He goes out in the park and falls flat on his butt. He fell one time, got up, took off all his gear, handed it back to me and said, I never want to skateboard again. That was painful. And uh, didn't practice, didn't want to do it anymore. So I didn't bother teaching him on the bike. I just didn't didn't go there. Maybe that was my fault. But, uh, you know, being in the city in Orange County, you didn't have – I didn't want him on a bike in Orange County. It was just dangerous. I mean, it's like riding a motorcycle. It's dangerous because of drivers. There's so many people in Orange County. Uh, what's the best present you got as a child? It's not the best present, but I remember one – two presents. I remember – my mom got me a mirror for my bedroom, and it says, homework causes pimples. I remember that. I have no idea why I remember that. And I remember she got me the guitar one. She got me an acoustic guitar, one of those kids' ones. And it, that was, the guitar was the biggest surprise. I remember, uh, let's see, breaking hips, that is, right? Uh, yeah, the, it, it's hard to ride a bike when you're in the city. When you're in the suburbs of the country, it's probably more uh, easier. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't want my son on a bike anyway in traffic, crossing the street, any of that stuff. So probably why I didn't teach him because I didn't want him just taking off and going. Uh, when I got my driver's license, said bye to bikes. Do you still play the guitar? Oh, I don't play the guitar. I held the guitar. My mom bought it for me. I held it. And that was it. It looked good in my arms. I air guitar better than anybody I know. So anyway, <laughs> I was just absolutely horrible. So I'm trying a new thing. Let me know if you guys do this. Um, I'm trying a new thing on my phone. Um, I turned off the sleep feature where your phone darkens and goes to sleep. So I manually turn it, put it to sleep. So let me show you. Hold on a minute. So I manually turn off my phone, and then I turn it on. I manually turn it off again, and I put it down. Um, but I don't – most of the time when I'm looking at the phone, I want to look at the phone. I can't stand you got to keep hitting it every two minutes or five minutes or ten minutes or whatever. Does anybody else have that feature turned off? Uh, let's see. There's some good questions. So anyway, um, the egg pod is a really good device. I liked it. It's on my channel right now if you want to check it out. Um, what do you guys think about me doing Jack on the Goes more? Like, I'm thinking I'm doing them twice a week. Let me know. 
What's your daily screen time? Poof. You don't want to know. Let me take a look and see. Hold on. Whoops. Let's see what the meat's at. Got to check my meat first. Okay, 194 and 195. So we're almost to 200. All right, screen time. Screen time. There it is. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. Oh, my gosh. That's my daily screen time average. <laughs> no, I can't do it. All right, you guys, you can guess, and I'll tell you. Uh, let's round it up to the nearest hour. Go ahead and guess uh, how much I do per day on average. Oh, no, not four hours. Um, oh, you eBay. I used to be into coins. I have a coin collection. Uh, what places will you go to eat next week, and will you make videos? Uh, yes, I am going to... I got some places. Hold on. Uh, seven? How did you know? Wim nailed it. I'm at seven hours a day. That's just sad. Yes, more Jack on the go, please, and thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay, so I think I'm doing twice as many Jack on the goes because... I, I'm not sure. I mean, you guys like food porn. I know that. But I'm not sure you want to see some of the mom and pop places around here. What kind of places are here? But it's kind of cool because when you come to visit Nashville, you just go to my channel to see what was good, what was bad. I have tons of people to do that. Hey, I'm coming to Nashville. I saw that you said, you know, Hattie B's was the best hot chicken. Um, so where's my list? I have a list for Jack and the Go show ideas. Um, I think I'm going to go, I want to review the Popeye's hot honey chicken sandwich. That's probably the next one I'm doing. Popeye's hot honey chicken sandwich. Is that even not still going? I think it is. Yeah. So I don't want to do more breakfast places. Uh, I'd like to see Jack and I'm going to do a real fancy restaurant. I have done, uh, Morton's, uh, but yeah, I will be go. Um, I want to also do. A steak dinner at, uh, it's called Old Hickory Steakhouse at the Grand Ole Opry, and it's like $100 for just, I mean, it's like $50 a steak, so it'd be like $100 for dinner at least. Uh, I love Popeye's. So yeah, Popeye's has a brand new hot honey chicken sandwich. I have tasted the hot sandwich, which was good, but the hot honey, we might do a parking lot review. Uh, I like when you go with friends. I love going with friends. You know what I like more than going with my friends? I like going with you guys. I like somebody coming into town or somebody that's already here saying, hey, I watch the show all the time. You want to do a video? I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Pick a place. Oh, and I'm going to Jolly Ollie's again. Jolly Ollie's was a restaurant in town that I've already done a video on. You can watch it. They're one of my top three pizza places in Nashville. Unbelievable pizza. And I'm going back. They, they had a fire and burned down. So I'm going back to see if it changed. I don't know why I have the urge to do that. Should I move to Nashville or Memphis? Nashville, not Memphis. Anytime people warn me <clears throat> about, you know, Memphis is like L.A. tough. If you're a tough person and you're like that, then Memphis. But if you want to, you know, just kind of hang out, uh, Nashville. Depends on um, if you like ribs, Memphis. If you like hot chicken, Nashville. Uh, maybe his name is Bill. He drinks a lot of coffee. Can't remember his name. Um, I'm, I lost that. Sorry. Was it Bill? Oh yeah, I think it was. I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, did you end up going to Patty's for a second time? I'm going for my birthday in December. I remember you said you wanted to check it out during Christmas season. Yeah, I'm going back uh, in December. Um, you have a football team in Nashville. Uh, yes, we have the Tennessee Titans. So uh, they're right. You can see I'm like five minutes from the stadium. Um, it's beautiful. Where I live, I'm not downtown where crap's going on and stuff and traffic jams, and but I'm just outside Nashville. Nashville Predators are huge out here. Huge. 
You never would have thought that the middle of the country was in a hockey, but I guess they are. They love their predators. Uh, I'm definitely way more of a laid back kind of guy. I got to tell you guys, great movie. Remember the Titans. Yes. I got to tell you though, that sports is really, my aunt and uncle live in Lebanon. Great place. Tell them to go to, um, what was the, uh, Courtney's restaurant. It's a meet and three. I just filmed that. It's on my channel. And uh, the smokehouse that's out there in Lebanon, Voodoo Smokehouse. Adam, tell them to go to Voodoo. Very good barbecue smokehouse. Um, Sharknado on Sci-Fi. Oh yeah, who likes Sharknado, huh? How did you get uh, Google Street View to blur out your house? Didn't. I've never requested anything from Google Street View. Could have been just a bad. I don't know. Do you still use the new wave? I saw your beef jerky video and was wondering if you could do some salmon jerky. I have a dehydration machine. I have a smoker. I got an air fryer. All those dehydrate. I have an oven on the counter now, the Calphalon that I kept. That dehydrates. I have an Instant Pot. That dehydrates. I can make jerky probably in my toaster. Everything dehydrates. It's kind of odd. But no, I don't have the new wave anymore. It's kind of kind of odd that I live here in Las Vegas, but I love it out there. Oh, by the way, I'm coming to Vegas next year. I'm going to Vegas with the kids. They'll both be 21. They've never, well, Jack Jr.'s wife has never been to Vegas, so it's going to be great to show us some shows, show us some magic shows, take her, take her out to a good steak dinner. I love Vegas. Love. Uh, Las Vegas is crazy. Oh, I'd never lived there, but I love it. <laughs> it is, if you've never been to Vegas, you guys are missing out. Which ho hotel do you recommend uh, in Vegas? I like, I have to tell you, uh, I like, if I had to stay in a hotel, I would stay at South Point because they have inside, they got a full-blown movie theater inside and they have a full-blown um, bowling alley. They have bowling and movie and restaurants and I like, uh, Sam, is it Sam's Town? I don't know if it's around anymore. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. Uh, I don't I don't stay at the big hotels right on the strip. I just don't do it. I, I have stayed at, um, I went to the opening of the hotel, what, the Cosmopolitan. Yeah, I have stayed there. But South Point, I, st I stay at the timeshare right next to, I have a timeshare. So I don't have to stay at hotels. I stay at the timeshare right next door to South Point when I go. You literally cross the parking lot. You're at South Point. I get to go to the movies. They have a steak and shake in there. Get your get your shakes on. Um, it's really great for families too, because you got bowling. You got the movies. I remember when I was a kid, my parents took me to Vegas all the time. It was when you're a kid, it's the most boringest place ever. It's an adult playground. It's not for kids. I remember being yelled at so many times, being too close to a slot machine or something, you know, security come over. Excuse me, sir. You need to keep moving along. And I'd be like, Ugh, this place sucks. Well, now I like it. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. Any money you bring to Vegas stays in Vegas. That's another saying. Um, but yeah, South Point, Sam, Sam's Town is not too active these days. Okay. Sam's Town I like because they had the big, it was like a, is it a arboratorium or something? They had the plants in the middle, and they had the glass ceiling. Uh, it had, like, seven different restaurants in there. Uh, they had a movie theater. Uh, really good if you had kids, you wanted to do things with your kids. Uh, why you disable comments? Wow. Um, just because too much hate when I had the comments on, um, bottom line. Uh, yeah, it's a fun – it is a fun place. Um, I don't – I get bored of gambling. Like, I'll take $20, and I'll – pull the slots a little bit, and I'm like, this sucks. I'm going to a movie. I'm going to go eat something cool. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm going to go see a show. I'm going to go live up other things. Um, I remember downtown had that show. They had, like, the main street in downtown kind of covered with an archway, and they would do, like, a laser and a graphic show. And I, I don't know if they still do that. Uh, South Point is growing in popularity because of awesome poker attorneys. Oh, Okay, cool. I don't play a lot of 
a lot of poker tournaments. But I got to tell you, I've, I've done a few. I've done a blackjack. I've done a Texas Hold'em. A lot of – how do we get to talking about Vegas? This is so funny. Um, I'm going to Vegas with the kids, and uh, I'm going to go probably back to Gordon Ramsay's place. Check that out. Check out another Gordon Ramsay restaurant. I've been watching Hell's Kitchen. He had a bunch of restaurants. A lot of those people, one of the guys is gone. One of the guys passed away that was on Hell's Kitchen. He was in the finals of season four, I think it was. Uh, he kind of looked like me, had a go goatee and stuff. But he passed away in 2014, I think. Have you filmed the Wendy's Breakfast uh, Baconator? Ooh, I didn't even know Wendy's had it. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. I go to everything. Go to Google for everything. Come on. I got to see what it looks like. Wendy's Baconator Sandwich. Hold on a second. According to Wikipedia, the Baconator Sandwich is a hamburger sold by the International oh, Fast Food Restaurant Chain. Wendy's Breakfast Baconator Sandwich. Hold on a minute. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if you can see, see that. That's a nice looking bacon and egg and cheese. Mmm. Okay, you asked what my breakfast plans were? Well, if I get off here before noon, that's probably going to be my breakfast plans. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Dan, you are uh, a little bit late, but we're just cruising along here. Uh, Siri knows a lot about bacon. Oh, no, that's Google. I never use Siri. Siri's an idiot. I like, I'm all, hello, Siri. How do you get to the Ritz-Carlton? And Siri's like, Ritz crackers are on sale at Kroger for three ninety five. I'm like, thanks. You still fail me. I, I, and you go back to her like, like you would an old girlfriend, and you realize why you left in the first place. Uh, get it together. <laughs> Hi guys, tighten it up. Uh, is the bacon and or keto? No, but I could eat everything inside those buns, and that's keto. Uh, or I can bring it home and tramp. And and I've done this before. I've got the zero card bread, so I would transfer everything inside that. Of course, you don't get all the cheese. That's the bummer. Uh, make sure you wear a mask at the theater today, Jack. Oh, yeah, I did yesterday too. <clears throat> took it off. Uh, took it off to eat my um, pea pods. I had the barbecue pea pods that they sell at the store, and uh, I was snacking on those, so had to take my mask off. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Had me in tears with that comment. <laughs> Why'd you turn off all? God, I've got to make a shirt. This is why I turned off all comments. I turned it off to shut up haters. Bottom line. That's my new answer. That's it. In those buttons, laugh aloud, Jack. Why did you ask if YouTube has hit its peak? Oh, I wanted to talk about that. Thank you, Ryan. So my question of the week was, I pulled everybody. And by the way, YouTube is still as important as ever to people, according to my, my poll. I did a poll on Instagram. I did a poll on Facebook. I did one on YouTube. 75% of the people said YouTube is still number one. We still go to YouTube for everything. Uh, it's still important to us as it was back in the day. Um, but I've noticed, and I've talked to other YouTubers that there hasn't been as much viewer activity. I know a lot of YouTubers that can't do their show in today's times. I know my Jack on the Go was affected. I had to go to, I had to get creative. This is what I'm talking about during the holidays, get creative. I had to get creative with Jack on the Go and start researching the apps and testing them out and doing the ordering for you and show you which app works good and how they, they do good or they screw up your order or whatever. That was the thing during the pandemic, which is, I guess, still going on. But that was a thing since we couldn't go into restaurants. But now that we can go back into restaurants, I'm filming again there. Uh, don't hate, appreciate. Uh, has anyone noticed fast food, Coke, and Pepsi is starting to taste like knockoff syrups? I don't know because I just I don't drink soda. But uh, I'll take your word for it. Uh, make some Puerto Rican cuisine. 
Well, Daniel, send me a good Puerto Rican recipe that excites me, one that hasn't been Americanized, and I'm all for any international dish. Uh, I understand what, whoops, who's calling me? Oh, the phone call from California. I've not taken it. Make sure my phone's off. Yeah, I'm not taking it. Any call from California is usually spam because I kept my number from California. So uh, they think I still live in California. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. You clean carpet. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I didn't call you. Why are you calling me? Oh, you want to do my carpets? Yeah, $1,000, not a problem. Yeah, come on over. I'm right here in Tennessee. And they're like, click. <laughs> my buddy used to leave him on as long as he could. He'd leave them hangling. Uh, hangling? Did I just say hangling? Oh, that's scary. That was a stroke moment. Sorry. He'd leave them dangling as long as he could. And then when they were ready to seal the deal, he'd give the address to the local police department. And he sent them to the police department. My buddy... No lie, he's crazy. Oh, you guys know Paul. Paul from Jack on the Go Show. We were we had the I remember years ago we were eating uh never ending pasta at Olive Garden, and he literally called, We wanted more pasta. We waited 20 minutes for our second serving of pasta. We're like, come on, never ending just ended. So we were so frustrated. He literally called the police department and filled out a missing persons report on our waitress. <laughs> that just cracks me up. That's how Paul is. That's that's probably why I keep him around. He's my best bud. So sometimes it's just uh, some strange robocall. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, um, we did get pasta finally because I called the front of the restaurant. I'm like, hey, you guys busy? And they're like, no, we're not busy. I'm like, well, why am I still waiting on pasta? And then the manager came over and goes, <clears throat> said, just want to let you know, my buddy has called the police department on your waitress there, filling out a missing person report. <laughs> he couldn't, he, manager just caught the whole table. He couldn't believe what we were doing. He goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm dead serious. I said, uh, that's, that's the guy, man. He would do it. Uh, so you met, oh, you did meet Paul at Kentucky Kingdom last year. He is such a great guy. He is such a great guy. Um, he's going with me to do um, the food wars in New Orleans. We're going to be doing Cajun food wars. And Paul and I are going to do also uh, Mexican food wars. Yeah, that's we don't know when yet, but we got a list of Mexican restaurants. We want to put them all up against each other, so we're going to go travel. We got some, some in Alabama. We got some in southern Tennessee, way away from me. What's the perfect appetizer to get more hungry? I think mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms, where you get a mushroom that's stuffed with cream cheese and melted cheese, real good. Is Paul going to be back in your videos later on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul will be more. Um, I'm going to have more. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got, I got some, uh, a, new, a new site called Let's Eat uh, Hendersonville, and that's on Facebook. Uh, I have a new site that I'm running to talk about the food in my area and let's eat Nashville. So me and Paul used to do a serious, he's helped me run the site. So me and him uh, worked together on Facebook, I'm not Facebook, on videos. And we did the let's eat series. We did a few videos years ago. So we brought back let's eat. And uh, so we're going to discuss food on let's eat Hendersonville. Uh, let's eat Nashville. Those are two that uh, you can subscribe to. Uh, Paul's a, an admin on the on the page too. You make a steak tartar. I've never made a steak tartar. <clears throat> wow, I'm way over time. I've never made a steak tartar. And uh, uh, oh, um, I think it isn't that like raw steak sliced up or really rare steak or something like that. I don't know how to do it. One of the things I'm going to tackle soon is Gordon Ramsay's um, um, beef Wellington. Because I was watching Hell's Kitchen for five seasons. Every season had Beef Wellington. He loves that dish. So I'm like, I got to learn how to make this stuff and see what the big thing is all about. Paul and you were a good combo on Jack and the Go. Yeah, Paul, Paul's a lifelong friend. He moved to Nashville before I did. He's literally one hour from my house. So um, a good guy. He's more in the sticks than I am. 
he's more out there than I am. He's in a tiny little town that if he tripped and scraped up his knee, the whole town would know about it. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, we plan on doing some more stuff together. He ain't ever going anywhere. Don't you ever worry about it. Okay, guys, I've been running. Let me see if there's anything. Jack, have you done a gravy episode? I really need to know how to make it for my dinner tonight. Um, no, there are a lot of gravy videos you can pull up. Uh, it's pure raw meat. Oh, I'll have to look in that. With pickles, Tabasco, salt, and egg. Well, Tabasco, I love like raw oysters. I don't know about raw meat. I'm currently watching all the Jack and the Go episodes. If you had to do it all over again, would you do the West Texas Investors Club? No, because seven days after signing the contract for West Texas Investors Club, Shark Tank called me for the second time. The first time they called me, I was supposed to go on Shark Tank, and they literally kicked me off the show because they were changing the whole, the whole show. They didn't want any food items. I was going on about my sauce. So then I, West Texas called me. Uh, I met with them. I signed a deal with them. And then a week after that, I signed the deal. Shark Tank called me back. Okay, we're ready to bring you back. I'm like, oh, well, you missed the boat. So I should have been on twice on Shark Tank, and both times got squashed. That tells me that it wasn't meant to be. Um, but, yeah, if I knew better, I wouldn't have signed the deal, would have waited for the second call from Shark Tank. Uh, <clears throat> you'd love uh, steak tartare, Jack, and it's easy to make. Sure, you pull it out of the package and you slice it. Uh, what's this I hear about party cheese? I don't know. I'm hearing the same thing. I don't know what's the big deal. Uh, have you dabbled in Puerto Rican food? Uh, it's amazing. That's right, Daniel. Still waiting for you to send me that recipe. Oh, man, you should make a video about all this Shark Tank West Coast stuff. Would be so interesting. Oh, I just talked all about it. That's all I got. Uh, I have to tell you, though, I was back in the day of Shark back in the day. I was back in the day with Shark Tank. Shark Tank wanted to, if you go on Shark Tank, they get to own like they get a choice. They get 2% payment from your company for the rest of its life. Or they get 5% ownership. You have to decide which one you want to give them. So you give them ownership, 5%, or you pay them 2% of your sales for in perpetuity. It was a little crazy. I think Mark Cuban squashed that. He basically, I think, is it raining? Oh. Um, he basically told them, look, I'm leaving the show if you guys are going to keep digging these people. That's what I know. Have you thought about it? was a 27-page contract for the Shark Tank. It took me forever to read. Uh, when are you running your sauce line again? Uh, I probably am not. Um, if you want any of my sauces, we're only selling it by the load. So if you have to order a full run because we're not warehousing anymore in California. We're not warehousing anymore out here in Tennessee. Uh, well, let's see. Can you do more live streams? But we can't have a, a full order delivered anywhere you want it. Uh, can you do more live streams during the week for those of us who work weekends? I never thought about doing more live stream. I'm exhausted. I've, I mean, I've done radio, so talking is not a problem. <laughs> but uh, the key is just be who you are. You do a live stream. Too many people try and put on this radio voice and all that. Just be who you are. If I do this, I do this. <clears throat> if I do that, I do that. You know, if I drink coffee, I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. So how come you never tested June oven? Because the June oven is so overpriced, it's ridiculous. It's way crazy. I wouldn't touch the June oven. You could probably get something cheaper from any other brand. Bill Calphalon will probably do everything the June oven will. So I would never, I don't, I've been offered many things that I've turned down to not review. I've been asked to review wines. I don't drink. So me telling you, this is a great wine. You should buy it. I truly mean it. I would never, that would not be true. So I don't want to ever lie to you guys, but I will tell you, <clears throat> They um, have wanted me, there was an gr uh, indoor grill they wanted me to review, and it was $500. I'm like, I'm not reviewing that product on my show. I'm like, nobody 
that watches my show is going to pay $500 for that. I wouldn't pay $500 for that. If I won't pay it, why would I ask you guys to pay it? So I try and protect you guys too. And I would never show you anything. I'll tell you if it's bad. I'll tell you if it's good. And I'd never ask you. I would never say I recommend this product, but didn't truly recommend it. That egg pod. I recommend that that was a successful video. Um, I just don't recommend running cold water for two minutes like the instructions tell you. I let it rest on the counter and let it cool off naturally and then put a one just squirt of cold water, replace the hot water, the warm water, whatever, and then go to town and peel your eggs. Uh, watch the video. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, how did you find keto as a diet? Uh, honestly, I'm not strict keto as much as I should be. It's hard it's hard to do, you know, pizza wars, burger wars. So, like, sometimes I'll just take a bite of something and then I'll tear it apart and eat it, eat the meat out of it and the cheese out of it and the tomatoes out of it. But I'm about ready to, to tighten it up. I'm about ready to jack in the goes where I'm ordering. A lot of you are trying to eat healthy. So I will, I will talk about it. I will have other party members try it out and show you. But I'm, I'm going to be doing more of the salad, uh, grilled chicken or you know, some even the bad part is if the chicken's fried, it's, it's really not keto because it has bread. In. But anyway, um, play with food episodes, please. Yes. Playing with your food. I sometimes I got to sit down and think what's a good playing with your food. I don't want something stupid. I remember when I did playing with your food. Remember, we we drained the. Um, uh, drained the, uh, it was the clam chowder to show you how much clams were in it. Remember that? Part of cheese is when you stretch your, okay. That's great. All right. I'll have to make it, okay. My friend says he's on a diet which focuses on me. I think it's called carnivore diet. Yeah, or uh, zero carbs. Look it up. I'm going to put a video up interviewing my brother who's been a carnivore diet guy for three years. He says he's never felt better in his life. And he's in his 50s. He says, I feel like I'm 30 again. He goes, I don't know why. But anyway, I've got to, I've, can I buy the sauce company and buy your likeness? No, you don't, nobody can buy me. That's what they wanted in West Texas. They wanted my show. They ain't touching my show. They don't get my likeness or my name or my channel. Uh, that's, uh, those were so great episodes. Yes, we're going to bring you more, okay? I want to say goodbye to you and let you guys have your Saturday. Um, I love you guys, and I will be here every Saturday morning with you. I can't, I can't tell you how much I value our friendship, the people that I see every week. You guys are awesome. Um, enjoy your Saturday, all right? And now I'm going to go over to Facebook. My Facebook family has been watching live, too. Uh, I thank everybody on YouTube. Going to go over to Facebook, ask some questions right now, but I got to end the stream so I can do that. Uh, you should bring in some other cooking shows like Binging with Babish and Chef John. I know those guys. I know Chef John. I've talked to Binging with Babish. They probably don't remember me, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, there's got there's got to be a purpose to bring in the mom. If we're promoting, you know, curing a disease or something, we're going to come together and and bring attention to it. I just don't feel moved to do it yet. All the collaborations I do are to help others, not to help me. So I try to grab the smaller YouTubers that are, you know, a couple thousand subscribers. All right. I love you guys. You guys take care. And I will be back here. It usually start about 950 in the morning. Okay. Uh, Central time. All right. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. Love you guys. Bye bye. And now you get to